Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. David here with another cryptocurrency update. First of all, I want to let you know this is going to be a quick video. I'm right in between a couple of jobs, but I really do appreciate all the likes, the comments, and definitely the subscriptions. Everybody who tuned into the live stream this morning and anybody who's going to watch that replay later today, definitely thank you so much. Um, honestly, if you really think about the way that the real traditional stock markets work and how big they are, Really think about what Bitcoin and XRP are. Every every basic website you go on to is basically going to tell you that XRP and Bitcoin are number one and number two. Ethereum number three. We'll throw that in there too. The biggest cryptocurrencies, no doubt, will become the smallest, listen, the smallest and newest mainstream speculation. No question. This is going to be one of the bits of adoption. I wanted to kind of go into that a little bit, and I did the numbers. I don't know if this is backwards, but you guys can freeze that for a second if you want to. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. Everything that happened in 2017 and 18 through the bull run and through that collapse was so, so, so important for us as a market. Not only to be able to look back at what the prices were from, let's say, January 18th, 2018 to today where we stand across platforms like Apple or Google or XRP and Bitcoin. Those are the four that I've got here that I did the numbers for. Who was the best providing asset for this year, 2019? Share this video with your friends and family, guys. If you have a friend who is invested in Apple or Google, it's time to start telling them that they were right. It's time to let them know that them suggesting to you and to me to not get into cryptocurrency that you should have listened. You should have been more in tune with what's going on. But hindsight's always 2020, guys. The only reason you can tell them that is because of what has happened, not because of what we had believed could possibly happen and will possibly happen. Understand that. They will come in and build it. Listen, the traditional investors will come in and build it. It's kind of like the way that we had kind of thought that the token taxonomy bill was going to be the end-all be-all or that a bill that tries to encompass everything at once was going to be that one-stop shop. Like we were just going to be able to drop that down onto the table, onto the floor of the House of Representatives in the U.S. and they were just going to all smash their gavels down and say, yes, Thank the heavens it's here. We've been waiting for crypto. It's not going to happen. The way that it does happen, you have to think of it. The way that the states are broken up is the exact way that it's going to happen. Just like the representatives from Colorado have enacted their own bill. Just like Colorado enacted the medical marijuana bill. Understand the real correlation there because it starts with one. It starts with one of these states saying, yes, we will. Yes, we can. And, and really just having hopes and aspirations for what the future looks like, not what the past has been. So I want to jump into the numbers. Bitcoin, XRP, Apple. Google. I might be talking with an elevated voice today. I'm a little ramped up today. I really do appreciate you guys joining on to this channel and watching this video and everybody who shares it. Thank you so much. And like I said in yesterday's video, all these silent commenters, this is such a cool way to say it. All you silent commenters, the ones that just put your energy out there, the ones that are just being and just using. Thank you so much. Bitcoin, XRP, Apple, and Google you all kind of know where this is going to go. The charts, if you look at them from the day that the markets crashed and stopped crashing in 2008, 9, from, from then until now, the stock markets and everything has been going on in this direction. Even through the creation of Bitcoin and XRP and cryptocurrencies, everything's been going up. Understand that we stand still in that same position. We had a little glitch recently where the markets seemed... Traditional markets seemed like they wanted to come down, seemed like they wanted to start their move down. But as we see, it was just it was just a little fake glitch. It was just a little a little pump down, not breaking any real knees. Nobody really moved any money. Everybody who owns stocks kind of left it there. Okay, January 18, 2018. To now, Bitcoin is down 67.4%. 2018 to today. 
XRP is down 79.25%. 2018 to today, Apple is down 12.2%. Google, same time frame, 2018 to 19 today, down only 2.2%. Therefore, like we said, tell them they were right. They were right. They were right. We we got smashed. We got literally smashed, guys. Congratulations to us. But we didn't sell. Some of us did. Some of us got broken out and forced out and pulled out. Okay? Now, let's go to 2019, specifically this year only. Because if we stop writing in history and we just start writing the future, that's what is going to be the, the, the tall or the tall... Is it tall tail sign? The told tell sign i don't know what that saying is 2019 bitcoin performance down 6.1 percent xrp performance 2019 down 12 percent apple the stock performance down half of a percent they were right google the stock up 5.75 percent this calendar year understand that the percentages that we're discussing now for down or up within this calendar year, that's what we need to focus on. Bitcoin down six, XRP down 12, the other ones up. But take this into consideration. And if you're a believer in the technology, you understand what I'm saying and you should share this video. You should share this mental frame of mind and concept that the gains that we experience in this market, just like the losses, are exponentially larger than Google's or Apple's in this conversation specifically. They can't keep going up. It will not keep going up. If you own Apple or Google stocks, it's time to start figuring out how to get some of your profit or your minimal losses out and figure out where your safe haven asset is because something very, very interesting is going to be coming for anybody who considers herself to be an investor. Thank you guys for liking this video. Thank you for sharing. Please, please do comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling, what you're, uh, what you're taking off of this information here today. And uh, let's start this conversation. I'll see you guys in the next episode.